Hello everyone and welcome to Spring Academy. Today we are going to quickly check what's new in upcoming Spring Boot 2.1. Two weeks ago Spring Team announced the milestone 4th of Spring Boot 2.1 and this is the latest milestone before the release candidate coming in a, in a week or so. And GA, meaning general availability of version 2.1 is planned on the end of October. So you can find a complete list of release notes in the official wiki on the Spring Boot GitHub page. I just highlight a couple of changes or the new features that I find the most useful or interesting, but keep in mind that this is the only my personal subjective selection. So the first one is Spring Boot 2.1 is built on the top of Spring Framework 5.1. This means that you will have all the goodies like improved startup time, support for Hibernate 5.3 and improved APIs for functional bean definition and functional beans retrieval. What's even more exciting is that Spring Framework 5.1 is compatible with Java 11, the version that will be most likely used for the next couple of years. Since according to the survey made by Bildung, 75% of developers use Java 8 nowadays, Java 11 will effectively bring all the features from Java 9 and 10 to the mainstream. And by these features I mean private methods and interfaces, useful additions to optional classes, the immutable collections factories, and last but not the least, the keyword var, I guess the most recognizable feature recently added to Java language. I really advise you to check the full presentation, the state of Spring and Java given at Spring One platform conference just a few weeks ago at the official Spring YouTube channel. The second item on my list is Spring Data JDBC. This is actually a separate project, but it comes available for Spring Boot starting from version 2.1. And Spring Data JDBC is an alternative to Spring Data JPA for dealing with relational databases. It's much simpler than JPA, both in terms of developer experience and also features it contains, but as a result, it's much easier to comprehend. So instead of writing JPQL queries, you can now just write in plain SQL. There is no hibernate session, no dirty checking, which is neither good or bad, but it's just different and comes with its own pros and cons. For more details, you should check the presentation given by Jen Schauder at Spring One platform or subscribe to this channel because the one of the next videos I will definitely do will go into details of Spring Data JDBC. Highlight number three, metrics improvements. So out of the box, Spring Boot sets up now micrometer metrics for web client. Without any extra setup, you will get stuff like how long does it take to execute particular HTTP requests in the reactive stack. Another enhancement is sending Hibernate metrics like some stats about the session, number of executed queries, or what is the second level cache hit ratio. The last one that I really like is a new simple way to set global tags, meaning tags that are applied to every metric. While before you had to create a custom bean, now you can just set it in application properties file. The next item is a very nice improvement developed by Phil Webb called logging groups. Instead of assigning logging levels to each package separately, if these packages are related, you can create a group and assign a level to this group. So Spring Boot comes with two pre-configured groups, Web and SQL. And now if you want to see logs with all the HTTP requests or all the SQL queries, it's just a matter of adding one line to configuration. And what is really cool is that you don't even have to remember the package name. The last one is a small improvement to task execution and scheduling. If you want to change the default behavior of the thread pool responsible for task execution, and actually you often want to do it, now you can do it without creating a separate bean, you can just do it through properties in application properties file. This is it for today, in the description down below you will find links to all the content mentioned in the video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.